Welcome friends and a happy new year. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I started off my new year. So back in November, I visited my favorite thrift shop in search of a lamp for my dresser. And while I was there, I found the most charming vintage lamp I've ever seen. The shade was a little dented and had some brown spots and the bulb was broken, but I fell in love. And so for just $2, I brought home my new lamp. Despite the bulb, the electrical parts were still in good shape, so the first thing I wanted to do was to revamp the lampshade. The frame of the shade itself was in good shape, so I decided that all it needed was a fresh fabric cover to go on top. I browsed through my thick cotton pile and I found this really lovely French vintage fabric that I thought would pair nicely with the beige base. And then I went ahead and I started to take some measurements. But I soon realized an even easier way to get the shape of the fabric that I needed. I just laid out the fabric and then using a white pencil, I traced the lampshade all the way around to get the full curved piece. And while I was cutting, I made sure to leave a little bit of extra fabric on the sides for the seams. And now it just needed a good ironing. Before attaching it to the lampshade, I went ahead and I ironed some hems on all of the sides, just about a half of an inch. And there it was, my fabric was ready to attach to the lampshade. Before attaching it though, I did need to remove some of the trim that was on the existing shade. And luckily it came off pretty easily with the help of some scissors and just by pulling it. Now all that's left was to glue on the new fabric. And for this, I just used my hot glue gun. I started by gluing the fabric on the top rim. And then while pulling the fabric taut, I glued down the sides. And then for the last step, gluing along the bottom of the rim. And while I left the shade to dry for a little bit, I went ahead and I gave the base and the electrical cord a deep cleaning to remove some caked on dust. And now for my favorite step, reassembling and adding it to my dresser. Whenever I buy a vintage piece, I always wonder who used to own it and whether they ever imagined it would have a second life. I so hope you enjoyed watching this little DIY and I'll see you in my next vlog.